once again a warm welcome to petals of biology in this video tutorial i would like to discuss with you the family anonaceae this is one of the primitive families of angiosperms with around 80 genera and 850 species most of the plants are distributed in the tropical regions of the world let us see some of the common members of the family anona reticulata anona cerimola anona squamosa anona glabra anona muricata kananka odorata Arthabotrys hexapetalus Arthabotrys ceylanicus Polyalthia longifolia Euveria ceylanica Euveria narum Phaeanthus malabaricus Sageria lorina Cyathocalyx ceylanica etc Mostly the plants are mesophytic and they are shrubs and trees. Climbers are also present in this family. The leaves are alternate and simple. Wavy margin is present in the case of polyalthia leaves. The leaves are gland dotted in anona. Flowers are usually solitary, regular, hypogynous, spirocyclic, bisexual and trimerous. Since the sepal and petal are indistinguishable, it is commonly known as perianth. Perianth is mostly in three worlds. They are free each of the world consisting of three members the outer world is sepaloid and valvage a large convex thalamus is present on which all the floral organs are arranged andrisham is numerous with closely packed spirally arranged stamens the filament is short and thick and the connective is prolonged to a hood at the apex. Gynosium is having numerous closely arranged carpels. They are apocarpus. Each carpel is with a superior ovary style and stigma. Placentation is marginal or basal. The fruit of this family is commonly an aggregate of berries. Economic importance of Anonaceae Arthabotrys, Kananga, etc. are used in perfume industry for making fragrant perfumes. The oil extracted from the flowers of Kananga is commonly known as lang lang and it is very common in the perfume industry and it is highly demanding the fruits of most of the anona species are edible and available in the market polyalthia longifolia is used as a very good ornamental plant and is used in topiary.